Hello there, shipmates. Good afternoon. It is Wednesday, the 10th of June, 2020. I hope you've been having a fantastic day. Um, I hope you've had a dream come true, a great phone call, something you weren't expecting that was in your favor. I hope that happened to you today. That'd be awesome. I want to talk to you folks about the Los Angeles Music Center. I feel a little melancholy. And I wanted to share with you my experiences of the LA Music Center. And if you start to see me getting a smile on my face, it was because it was such a wonderful thing for me. It was wonderful, and the person who hired me, Carol Van Brunt, was wonderful. She was the first and only African American to hire me into a job. And that was very meaningful, and I'm very grateful to her for that, because I certainly, <laughs> I was a mess, you know, when, when she came across, came upon me and my application and all that. And I won't go into what sort of a mess I was, but I was a mess. And, and she hired me on and that thing changed my life so much from a spiritual point of view. The LA Music Center um, is a, a four building complex. You have the Walt Disney Concert Hall, which is the newest of the complexes, and you have the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion, which is the oldest of the complexes, Mark Taper Forum, and then you have the Amundsen Theater. Amundsen Theater, Mark Taper Forum, plays, you know, uh, dance theater, um, that sort of business. Uh, the um, Dorothy Chandler Pavilion, opera, ballet, um, you know, that, that sort of genre. And then the Walt Disney Concert Hall was the home of the LA Philharmonic. And that was pretty much it. I mean, there'd be other things that could come in there, but it was primarily LA Phil's territory. I got a chance to see hundreds of shows during the four years that I was an employee at the uh, Music Center of Los Angeles. And it was exactly what my soul needed because I felt empty. When I left the University of Arkansas, I was empty when it comes to performances. And, and what I mean by that really, was world-class performances done on a regular basis. That was the, that was, I felt, I feel kind of like I'm the, what do you call it, the scramjet engine of, of musicians. That I need to see some really high quality performances to really light my fire. If I see lots of shit performances or lots of performances that were absolutely okay, but de de definitely not um, inspiring, I just kind of, do, 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 do. the engine never alights. And being at a place like the Los Angeles Music Center was really special because there wasn't a shitty show of the 200 or so shows that I saw. There wasn't a shitty show amongst them. They were just one badass performance after the next. Even organ, maybe even especially the organ recitals. If you haven't gone to an organ recital, <laughs> go to Los Angeles, go to Los Angeles Music Center and check out their organ recital. Their organ recitals were some of the baddest ass performances I ever got to see because that organ at the Los Angeles Music Center, I mean at the uh, Walt Disney Concert Hall, tripping balls. That thing built purely for that hall, it understood that hall and the players understood that organ and it was just, it was miraculous performing that I got a chance to see. So performances that would I would be crying as an usher. I'd be in tears watching these performances. Some of them were so touching. And I got a chance to see plays over and over and over again. I got to see The Color Purple 25 times. I got to see uh, 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 Jersey Boys like 15, 20 times. I got a chance to see so many wonderful performances over and over again. And the thing that's great being a performer, watching great performances, is that you could sit there and study them. I never got tired of them. I was more excited. I got to see Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf probably 25 times. And you know, that's a three hour play. And to watch the minutia of these actors and how they owned their characters and how they stayed in character and were able to squeeze out every drop of the text helped me become a better performer. I'm very grateful to Carol Van Brunt for that opportunity and for getting a chance to drive for the uh, LA Phil and be a tour guide and to be a concierge. It was, it was one of the greatest things that I ever did. 
my god I have so much more to say but we're at five minutes I promise not to do more than that so I wish you a great rest of your day I hope good things happen to you today I hope you get great news I hope that you I hope that you understand love even more than you currently do I hope that you you let people know that you love them. I hope that you are kind to others, and I hope that you're safe and that you're healthy. I wish you a great day, my friends. Uh, talk to you again soon. Wash your hands, and I love you.